let's talk about something actually quite amazing, cruciferous sprouts. Now, the benefits of cruciferous sprouts are not about the vitamins or the minerals, fatty acids, amino acids, or even trace minerals. It's about this thing right here, phytonutrients. And there's quite a few of these chemical compounds that give amazing health benefits. And they're basically just these three-day-old sprouts that you can actually grow yourself in a little container without even soil, without even having sun. And I'm going to talk about the amazing properties that it could potentially give you. There's some human studies that show that these sprouts uh, can decrease H. pylori and gastritis. There's animal studies uh, that majorly demonstrate effectiveness in dealing with cancer. Now, we're talking about broccoli and cauliflower sprouts, which can contain up to 100 times the sulforaphane, which is a phytonutrient, compared to adult plants, adult broccoli and adult cauliflower. That's incredible. In 1997, Professor uh, Talale demonstrated very high levels of cancer protection with this right here. In fact, he worked with John Hopkins, and I do remember in the late 90s, you would see these broccoli sprouts in the grocery store. And what they initially did, or I think try to do, is get the patents on the broccoli sprouts. And I think it had to go to the Supreme Court. They did not win. And then one day, all this hype with broccoli sprouts just kind of went away. Of course, if you can't get the patents on it, there's not going to be a lot of money in it. But the fact that John Hopkins was involved in backing up these broccoli sprouts tells me that there's definitely something there because they would not invest the money into this project unless um, there was something there. Certain cruciferous sprouts are highly effective in decreasing the incidence of tumor cells in breast tissue. Also, these sprouts can induce carcinogen detoxifying enzymes, okay? So they're talking about carcinogens. That would be something like this. This is the toxicology, the science of poisons. So in our environment, we have thousands of chemicals and uh, quite a few of them are carcinogens. In this book, it talks about the relationship of how these poisons cause not just cancer, but disease. And thank goodness there's natural things that we can take to dismantle and detoxify those poisonous chemicals. And the vegetables cruciferous, especially some of the sprouts, can induce these enzymes. So then we can take a poisonous fat-soluble chemical and convert it into a harmless water-soluble particle and so your liver can detoxify it. And what's really cool about this whole thing is that this chemical in this plant causes apoptosis selectively. Now, what is apoptosis? It's a condition where the cancer cells commit suicide, okay? And it's selective only to cancer cells. So this chemical will target only cancer cells and not your own. That is just mind-blowing. So the next time you're in the store, go ahead and pick up some of the cruciferous sprouts and put a little bit in your salad. You don't need much because they're so concentrated. All right, thanks for watching. Hey, before you leave, I just wanted to give you a little quick history on some of the books that I wrote. This was one of the first books it's called Dr. Berg Body Shapes. It was my attempt at um, writing about body types. Uh, what was very interesting about this book is I actually did all the images myself. Uh, don't ask me why. Um, they look actually not quite as professional as some of the uh, images that I have in the new book. But anyway, this is my first attempt right here called Dr. Berg's Body Shape Diets. Uh, and then I wrote a book um, more extensive called The Seven Principles of Fat Burning. I don't even have a copy anymore, actually, um, because it's outdated. Uh, the next book, uh, I put about a thousand hours into this one right here called The New Body Type Guide, major updates on the body types. Uh, I put a lot of energy into this. Uh, it has professional images, graphics, all sorts of things. Now, the problem with this book is it doesn't really describe what this is really about. Body types are only a small portion of what's in this book. And that's why I changed the name to The Healthy Keto Plan, okay? If you happen to have this book, you don't really need this book because there's some only very, very minor updates.
But if you don't have this, you need to get this one right here. Um, this book goes into every single detail that you would ever want to know about. It goes into the seven principles of fat burning. It goes into hormones, uh, the body types, the basic keto plan. It goes into intermittent fasting. I talk about the 10 fat burning triggers and blockers and fat burning strategies with a lot of details in every single chapter. I go into body issues that interfere with losing weight. Um, there's very few people that just have a weight problem. They have a lot of body issues, whether it's sleeping problems, uh, stress problems, inflammation, menopause. I cover that extensively in this book. Then I talk about how to get rid of stress and I show you a technique. Uh, then I get into exercising. And then I have a lot of really good recipes in this book as well. So uh, this is a good reference guide. Um, on my website, if you get this book, you get this one free. It's called Healthy Keto Intermittent Fasting. This is the shortcut, a uh, quick guide to this book. And uh, the reason I created this book is to have you within 45 minutes learn how to do keto, okay, in intermittent fasting, exactly what you need to do. Then you can fill in the blanks with this book right here. So right now I'm doing a special. If you get this book, you get this one totally free, or you can go to Amazon and get these individually. So I just want to clarify the difference between this book and this updated one right here. If you don't have this, you need to get this right here. That way you can get the exact correct information to do it healthily.